good journeys, everyone. I am aboard the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser for a special preview of this brand new immersive multi-day experience. And hey, before we get too far into this adventure, I'm going to issue a big, huge spoiler alert. I will be talking about some of the action, the adventures, the characters you interact with. If you don't want to know anything about that, you may want to skip this. If you don't care, please proceed, and I will give you more spoiler alerts before something maybe major happens. But we will be discussing, not in great detail, but we will be discussing what happens aboard the ship. I am headed to the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser to board the Halcyon and begin my Star Wars adventure. Now, Disney's promised that this experience will be incredibly immersive and interactive. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I love immersive experiences and throw myself into the story when I'm in theme parks. I feel like the best way to honestly review this experience is to completely throw myself into the adventure and do as much as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll have a detailed analysis and final thoughts at the end. So we have arrived. Um, they gave us special magic bands to use. And then since we are on the media cruise right now, they're giving us loner phones to use as the data pad while they finalize everything. However, as normal guests, you'll use a regular phone. Um, make sure you have the Play Disney Parks app installed before you get here. But if you don't, they will help you. Make sure you have that all set up. Valet services took the car. Mel services took our stuff up to our room. So you only need to bring on board what you'd like initially. Um, and then you'll go through security. And now it's time to actually head up into space. As a disclaimer, Disney did invite me as a media guest to preview the experience the week before it opened. But as always, you can count on us to provide truthful, honest, and unbiased reviews regardless. And I'm excited to head back aboard the Star Cruiser next week during its inaugural sailing as a paid guest where I'll continue reporting on the different experiences and I'll specifically be keeping an eye out for differences between the media cruise and the Once real again, thing. Welcome to Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Your journey is about to begin. right here. Later on, we'll have ship orientation even from our model here. If you have questions about your data pad, we also have our data pad orientation. This is we have Stephen, now I got an alert earlier that there were some, there's like some first order activity somewhere on the line. Do we think that'll impact our adventure at all? Uh, highly likely that it, that it might. Okay. But we here at the Halcyon are determined to make sure that your voyage is safe, mm. comfortable, enjoyable. Um, but I haven't heard any of those wrong. Okay, questions. good to know. Okay, so far I'm very overwhelmed. I burst into tears immediately upon walking into the atrium just because it's it's beautiful in there. Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, but we took the transport ship over, which is a little bit like the transport ship in Rise of the Resistance. It's not as moving as the one in Rise of the Resistance um, when you're with Lieutenant Beck, uh, but if you look out the window, you'll see yourself leaving Earth, and then you'll dock, and then it opens up, and oh my gosh, you're in the most gorgeous atrium, which we're going to, of course, explore more of the ship in a little bit, um, and then we were greeted by a concierge who gave us all kinds of information, and he's uh, walked us to our room, so let's go check out the room. <gasps> Space room. Okay, so we have our little bathroom. We'll do a full tour in a second. Oh, wow. This is our room aboard the Halcyon. There's the infamous space bunk beds. It's pretty small in here. I'm not going to lie to you. First impression is it's very, very cool, but it is snug. I think it will be tight for a family bigger than like two or three. Okay, let's do a quick lightning round room tour because we got to get to lunch, but here is the bathroom to start. Space sink, space mirror, space body lotion and hand soap. What is in this space container? Face cloths to remove makeup, foaming bubble mask, and another bubble mask? There okay, I'm gonna luxuriate later with those. Thermal blower, AKA hair dryer. Space toilet, space towels, me in space, space shower, space 
body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. If you look closely, it says H2O, so it's the same as normal. Ooh, it's one of those waterfall showers. Very nice. And we always love you get that privacy. Not huge. Not a lot of space, if you know what I mean. Oh, what is this? This is a luxurious looking water bottle. Um, did they just take the tag off a bunch of absolute bottles um it says available for water on board may be refilled in the atrium and there's little space cups neat mirror space closet space robes space blanket space hangers space extra pillow is everyone in space short because this feels like a very short closet your long luxurious gowns will absolutely hit the ground but that's fine space closet number two this one has shelves a safe and a cooling supply unit which to us humans is a very small mini fridge like whoa that is small techie board that does have a thermostat phone availability to talk to your personal droid hi is now a good time to discuss your journey yes Wonderful. My name is D309, the logistics droid of the Halcyon, and I'll be available to you here during your journey. Have you used a droid link panel before? No. Don't worry, it's easy. This is where we'll talk throughout your journey. And I cannot see into your cabin, as this is an audio-only link, so please speak clearly. So tell me, what brings you to our treasured ship? I want to eat space food. Ah, excellent choice. The Halcyon's cuisine is known across the galaxy. Which meal do you usually enjoy the most? Dinner. You are in for a treat. Our chefs have recently devised delicacies such as iced blue Fallujian shrimp and braised bantha short rib. You can look forward to those during your Taste Around the Galaxy experience. Map? I just awoke everyone in the galaxy. Just kidding, it's 1 p.m. Single sleeping bed does not look like an adult will fit in this. Let's test it out. Oh, no, they would. I'm 5'7", and I fit. So anyone taller than me probably wouldn't fit, but... Window out to space. I will say, it looks much cooler in person than it does on camera. It's very reflective on camera, and it's really hard to get a good angle. But you can close your space window if you'd like by pushing the fancy buttons. Ah! Space table. And then there's two little space stools here. Space nightstand, plugs, reading light, space under the space bed for suitcases and such, space bed. Let's see if it's comfortable. You know what we got to do. That's pretty comfortable. Pillow's not my favorite. It's a little firm for my taste, but I also generally hate pillows and will like throw them adamantly off the bed because I end up sleeping just with my neck on the bed, which is probably horrible for you. Oh, that's a nice pillow. All right, this is pretty comfy. I plan on sleeping several places throughout the room, so we'll report back on which places are the most comfy. But let's also check out the infamous bunk beds, which they said a full-grown adult could fit in there, so I'm going to test that out. I'm going to go up to the top bunk. What are you doing? Oh, I got in three. Are you playing Wordle in space? Yeah. When did you get here? I was in your suitcase. The big one. I put clothes in my suitcase. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. <laughs> Am I wearing this outfit for three days? Maybe you are, maybe you're not. <laughs> uh, I cannot guarantee that every room will come equipped with a Quincy. It could though. But as you can see, a full grown adult does fit in there. I'm lengthy too. Quincy is here as my guest to help report yes. and film and yes. there's a lot to cover so much so we needed backup so backup quincy will pop up from time to time when she's not running around and filming other things for the website yes do you want to go to space lunch i still want to go to space lunch let's go all right i'm talking to the cruise director a huge component of this 
experience is the Play Disney Parks app, which is your data pad, and it allows you to interact with different characters. And this is really what's going to drive your Star Wars story, and the different missions you will go on will help uh, assign your allegiance to the First Order or the Resistance. So I'm currently just chatting with the cruise director. They are very insistent that I go to the mustard drill at 4 p.m. Like seven things have told me to do that now. Oh, the brig. That's where that's where uh, the bad people go. I'm here to drop you off. Headed into the Crown of Corellia dining room. Ooh. Space door. Whoa. All right, well, this is incredibly cool in here. This is where all the dining will take place. There's a breakfast buffet, a lunch buffet, and then your seated dinner are all gonna take place in here. And the vibes are awesome, and I'm wondering where I can get one of these cool light fixtures for my house. Do you see what I see? All you can drink. Here we go. the main atrium because we are going to do a tour of the ship. It's one of the offerings they have, one of the activities, and it's about every fit. What? Adiga and welcome aboard the Halcyon. There is so much to do and explore aboard our ship. Crew members are available. Whoa. Oh, it's so cool in here. So they continuously have a tour of the ship that you can do. So I'm going to, it was said to meet here by the model of the Halcyon. While I'm waiting, let's just see what happens. Uh-oh. I don't have access. Do I have to get access? I received a message, though, because I tried to do this. This is for Halcyon crew only. However, I respect your sense of curiosity and disregard for the rules. I'm not crew either. Do I know how to get in? I'm gonna need some more information. He knows how to get in! I'll help you if you help me, obviously. I'm, I'm always looking out for number one. Let's get to it, dude. He wants me to do something. I have a minute before my tour. I'm at a console. He's ha- Oh, he's letting me hack it? Oh my gosh, yes, let's hack it. Okay, on these hacking ones, you have to like connect the colors to the colors. So brown goes to brown, teal goes to teal, and green goes to green. I hacked it. I'm amazing. I got the code. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Head to the engineering room. Okay, I can do that. So this short 15 or so minute tour happens um, continuously until four o'clock on your boarding day. And it's just a really great way to orientate yourself at the ship, see everything quickly, learn some fun facts. I'm looking for the engineering room because that's what my mission told me to do. But for now, we will go to this climb simulator. Oh, hi, right, Bobby. Mm -hmm. uh, we have planets from all kinds of fun planets, including Toydaria, Naboo, Batu, Chandrilla, all that good stuff. Where's the engineering room? Oh, perfect. It's right next to the bricks. Oh, great. Yeah. So the engineering room is right here. Um, you will only get in if you have special access granted to you. Um, the way you'll know that is to tap your data band against one of the shipwide consoles and it'll tell you whether or not you have access or you can just tap it directly to this door. Um, and if it opens, then surprise, you have access. Um, this room is a little intimidating to a lot of our passengers because they want to know why we have a brig on board. And of course, the Empire being the Empire, when they took over, they changed it into a brig. Um, it's a place they would throw in supporting the stormtroopers or unruly passengers. Um, but we no longer use it at okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to talk about how we don't use it as a brig anymore. I was told by my friend that I'm supposed to go to the engineering room, and but I was told on the tour that not everybody has access. But I think he got. I got. I think I hacked it, and I got myself access. Ah! I did. I did. 
Look alive, look alive, look cool, look cool. Don't worry about it. We're cool. We're cool, 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 cool. Um, hold on now. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm just perusing. I'm looking for my loft cat. He ran oh. away, and yeah. I, I and thought he might have come in here. here. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad that you're here. Because okay. Because the engineering room isn't running efficiently, and oh. I need all the help that I can get. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> And this is the moment when I realized you have to fully buy into the story for this to work. Anything that's blinking, if you would be able to talk like with that system, that'd be amazing. Blinking, yeah, yeah blinking. Yeah. blinking, we can do that. Blinking, blinking yes. lights. Blinking lights. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. okay. Great, thank you. Yeah, we are very trustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you help with the blinking lights, okay. distract them while I help my right. new smuggler friend. Here we go, help with the blinking yeah, lights. Yeah, go help with the blinking lights and look for our cat. Look for our cat. His his name is Tauntaun. It's okay. like a whole thing. Um, yeah. Oh, I would love to pull, I would love nothing more than to pull this lever. Thank you so much. You're, oh! Oh, gosh. All right, oh, cool. also, I named the lost cat Tauntaun. Okay, so if anyone asks, if anyone asks, call out for Tauntaun. Tauntaun. Have you seen the control panel? Are you just hitting random buttons? Yeah. <laughs> Tauntaun. Okay, I'm supposed to find the mechanical systems panel, and I think I did. It's right here. All right, let's see what my friend said. On the panel, find a way to prime the escape pod thrusters so we're ready to go. Escape pod thrusters, prime. Okay. Finding time time? I'm finding time time. Okay. Play it cool. I did it. Okay, my friend Wraith told me that I did a good job, which, obviously. And then he said that the next time I see him, to let him know that I've seen Gaia's legendary performance on Ryloth, so he knows it's me. So we have a code phrase now. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, something's Whoa. happening. There's apparently a secret passage. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the moment when I was fully bought into the story. Things are happening, y'all. We had the muster drill with the cruise director and the captain, but then we were boarded by a first order lieutenant and stormtroopers because they're keeping an eye on us, which is very stressful. And then Gaia was supposed to perform, but she's not here. And you know who told us? Wraith, my friend from the phone. So now I gotta go find him and tell him the secret message. Yes. 
you here on uh, holiday? Yes. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, it's been lovely, yeah. Yes, and what, what brings you aboard the Halcyon? Um, the food. I hear. Yeah. It is the best in the galaxy. It's delicious. I can't wait to partake myself. Yes. And I really enjoyed Gaia's legendary performance on Rylan. It was incredible, it wasn't was it? It was incredible, yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Molly. Molly? Yes. You get rid of that. Yes. I've been instructed to keep this safe. Don't let the lieutenant see it. So, Rafe, is that, this is Gaia's luggage. There's apparently some stuff in there we do not want the First Order to see. So I've been instructed along with some fellow passengers because I told Rafe the thing, you know? And he was like, don't let the First Order see this. So the lieutenant's around asking questions, the stormtroopers around, but we're, we're cool, we're cool. Okay, wait, we're still missing a piece. We're still missing a piece, we're guys. Missing a piece. They, Blanca seemed to think there would be 15. 15. We need to get to the cargo hold, and I don't know no, where the cargo no, is. Sir, sir, and very, they're very personal items. We know what you're doing. Wait, close the door! Do you know? Hold it. Yeah, do it. Close it. Do it, close do, it. It. do it, do it. Okay, oh, no, you're doing it, do 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 it, so I found my friend Rafe. He told me to help him with Gaia's luggage because there are some things on board that do not, would not be good if the First Order found them, you know? So then we eventually locked the stormtroopers into the cargo hold with the stuff so we could chit chat. Now Sammy's sending me messages about how he sent me schematic um, and he said, don't tell anyone. My initial reaction to the interactions is that someone like me who loves like escape rooms and games and immersive experiences, it's really really fun like it truly feels like you are inside an adventure i have changed my light night look and it's time for bridge training which is one of the two required activities on board they will assign you a time for both bridge training and lightsaber training so uh i'm headed to bridge training now all right excellent work They rotate you through, um, and then at the end, the captain comes on board, um, and you actually have to use the things you learned in training to help with a mission. Okay, I am like very into everything that's happening, but it's really hard to like film and do everything because like a lot of the characters like don't want you to film because they don't want, they don't know who you're transmitting to. So I get it. Um, but I did see Chewbacca. We helped hide Chewbacca in the engineering room. Don't tell. And oh. and, and, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it official. He's not wearing a jumpsuit. Well, oh, but, well, yeah. The jumpsuit. fur, the fur. Okay, the fur. I'll hold the fur. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and your belt. It looks good. Right. Um, and then I was told, um, Sammy gave me some information on my band. So sometimes when you're interacting, they'll scan a port and they'll ask you to scan right after. Sammy put some information on my band. It's been very stressful. So now I'm in the sublight lounge having a cocktail. This is the sublight lounge. This is the lounge uh, connected to the main atrium. It's where you can get cocktails and some light bites. This is also where you can play sabak. They have that one um, holographic sabak table, or you can play sabak at any table, and they will teach you how to do it and leave you with cards and everything. We just played. It's really fun. Um, and there are sabak lessons you can take if you'd like to learn. Can you teach me how to speak Wookiee? Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Yes. Now I am ready for the space fashion show, which is supposed to happen in a few minutes. So I feel good about this. born for this. <laughs> Apparently there's not a winner of the fashion show, which I was led to believe there was, but whatever. I wanted my heart. 
Also, can I show y'all this very cool thing leading into the Starlight Lounge? This is the Halcyon Fluke. It's an almost 300 year old bottle of wine and they tried to smash it on the ship uh, when it was taking its maiden voyage because as you know, you smash a ship, but a bottle on a ship, it didn't smash. And the creator found that to be good luck. So they have it here and you can rub it for good luck. Now it is behind glass. So, because it's getting too rubbed, but you can rub the glass for good luck for your Sabak games, which I'm gonna go play. I have graduated to the holographic Sabak table, so you can see my controls right here. Here are the cards, here's the dice, and we're ready to play. I wanted Sabak! Sabak is so fun. I thought it would be really complicated. I would be good at it, but it's a pretty simple game. And you can, again, play it at any table with the cards or the one table with the holographic deck. Um, I do think it gets pretty busy in there probably in the evenings, but we found a spot no problem because it was during the first dinner. Speaking of dinner, I am headed to dinner now, the second dinner. I'm actually dining with the captain. She's right there. We are dining with the captain at the captain's table. Um, that is normally a $30 upcharge, and it is something you can book when you're booking your Star Cruiser at Adventure. You can request to sit at the captain's table. Very limited seating, um, but I am lucky enough to dine with the captain tonight. You get the same food, the captain's at the table, and a few extra items. Dinner is an evening with Gaia, intergalactic superstar. She is going to sing and perform for us at dinner, which I'm very excited about. The crew is very excited because, of course, she's you know, famous across the galaxy for her incredible singing. Now, again, we are at the captain's table tonight, which is this beautiful large table in the center. And what I like is they've kind of like separated the parties. So it still is shared experience, but you're not like right next to other people. Um, the difference between the captain's table is you do get a, a pour of champagne. You get a couple of pours of wine with your meal. You can, of course, add other. They've got specialty beverages, um, specialty beers and drinks that you can add if you'd like to. Um, and you get a few extra little noshes and magical, you know, kind of upscale touches when you dine at the captain's table. We're starting with this awesome hand towel where you go like this. Bloop. And then it expands like magic. And it becomes a hand towel, isn't that cool? Not majority. <laughs> uh, we just want to welcome you The service here, side note, unbelievable. Space, guest service is very good. The show, so much fun. Gaia is my queen now. She's amazing. You have to really buy into the whole thing to enjoy it, I think. I think if you thought you were too cool for this or not into it, Gaia performing her hits all through dinner would annoy you, but I'm into it also. Drama has struck again because the captain showed up and Sammy, my friend the mechanic, turned Chewy over to the First Order. Can you believe it? There is resistance activity on this ship. There is? If you're hiding something, nope. good luck with that. I would never hide. expect to be so stressed on this vacation. I know. I thought this was just going to be a nice cruise through space. I thought the stress was going to be like covering it all for work. I didn't realize yeah. I was going to be in a telenovela. <laughs> so our sweet baby droid SK got bolted. It was by Sammy, but he looked at me and said he's sorry. And then as he was walking out, he said, we'll talk tomorrow. So I still have faith. So I'm back in the lounge and I thought I'd check my messages. Sammy said, I can't believe we saw Chewbacca. He said this earlier, I can't believe we saw Chewbacca. And then he said, you don't hate me, do you? First Chewbacca and now SK. I'm gonna ask about Chewie. He's my top priority. Let's see what he says. Chewbacca's on his way to Batu to keep working on the coaxium. We'll find a way out of this. Lieutenant Croy. He wants to deliver us to the First Order, Quincy. Who? Lieutenant Croy. Us? Yes, the whole ship. I can't go to the First Order. You would not do well. I would not do well. What an eventful first day aboard the Halcyon here on the Galactic Star Cruiser. I don't even know where to begin. I'm 
truly blown away by this experience and I know there was a lot of controversy, a lot of people weren't sure what this experience would be like. I, first and foremost, I realized this is an incredibly exp expensive experience. I understand that two nights aboard this Galactic Star Cruiser is the cost of a Disney vacation for a lot of people. What I will say is I'm amazed at how much is happening and how interactive it is. Um, even just now, Quincy and I went to our room and to check on something and scanned with our droid that lives in your room and she talked to the First Order and she knew where we, what we've been up to and like the immersion is absolutely unbelievable. Like, the characters know you. I have talked to enough of the characters that they now know me by name. Crew members know you by name. It is incredibly, incredibly immersive. I think my biggest takeaway from today is that you need to be the kind of person that's going to buy into the story. If you're not the kind of person that can walk into the dining room and fully be immediately on board that guy as an intergalactic superstar, this is not going to be the experience for you, possibly, because a lot of this relies on you buying into the story, buying into the drama that happens around you, buying into communicating with different people. If that's not for you, then maybe this isn't worth the cost. But if you're someone that can get into that, like I am, it's super, super fun. It has been a lot of fun looking, working with the data pad and talking to different people, to doing the actual missions, to exploring the ship. The food is much better than I expected it to be. I don't know what I expected. It's better than most cruise ships I've been on. And the ship itself is beautiful. I'd say so far my two cons about the experience are one, the rooms are very, very small. And granted, much like a cruise ship, you don't spend a lot of time in there. It seems like it would be hard to comfortably fit more than two, three people into the rooms, even though they technically sleep five. Um, and number two, I do think with the character interactions, there's often not enough things happening where you have the characters like try and pull over four, five, six people and then like 30 people see something happening and they run over and it feels very crowded and hectic. Um, so I hope maybe in the future, because I know that they're going to ever change this, I hope that maybe they add more characters or add more things going on so it doesn't feel like a group of 30, 50 people trying to move all at once. But so far I'm very impressed with the experience. I think it's super, super fun, super cool. I'm very grateful to be here and uh, now it's time to rest up and get ready to go on a day excursion to Batu tomorrow. So, good night. Rise and shine, it's Batu day. It's very early in the morning. And it's a breakfast before we go to Batu today. And I have a lot to do. This morning, the robot in my room told me to tell the crew at the Money Falcon that you know who needs his you know what. And they'll know what I'm talking about because I don't. Thank you. Oh, may your routes be smooth. I'm trying to learn all the space lingo. It's different space talk. Here is a look at the breakfast. I've been told by many people that breakfast is the best meal or a surprise hit, so don't sleep on breakfast. There's also a grab and go breakfast if you don't want to come have a full sit down situation, but lots of variety, lots of plant based options. Looks good popping into the sublight lounge to get myself a to-go cup of coffee. This is where they have that grab-and-go breakfast. So they've got coffee, decaf, hot water if you want to do tea, orange juice, a little grab-and-go box that looks like it has a couple of the pastries, the yogurt, um, and some of the fruit from downstairs. The crew member let us know that she can tell you what's in here if you have any questions about the options. Um, but if you have an allergy or special dietary need, um, she can escort you downstairs or help you out down there, but they don't have like a gluten-free box or a vegan box or anything. Um, so just be aware of that. This is also available tomorrow. There's some fresh fruit as well, some whole fruit, and then more coffee fixtures. So if you just want to grab something quick, you can grab it here. I am going to grab coffee. Now we are headed to the transport dock so we can go to the mysterious planet of Batu. <laughs> All right, it's time to board the transport. They gave me this cool pin. Um, everyone wears one. It lets you all the people on Batu know that you are a Hassion passenger. It's very important. People need to know who you are for some reason. I got a message from Sammy asking if I would steal a ship today with him. So, yeah, I will. We're doing it, Sammy. We're doing it. It'll be fine. He, he says, let me know when you've arrived and I'll let you know what to do. All right, you got it, Sammy. And 
And here we are. Welcome to Black Spire Outpost, travelers. Let's go to Batu. I'm so excited. It's like I've never been here before. Seriously, I'm excited. Like, it's I'm fully in the story. I got things to do. I got missions to go on. Bright Suns, thank you. Ah! Okay, I am very lucky that I get to come to Batu all the time, but still walking in through there, coming in as like, oh my gosh, I came in as part of the story. I got things to do. I got people to meet up with. It's very exciting to be on Batu right now. Also, Rise the Resistance is down because of course it is, but may the force bring it back up before I leave Batu today. Also, breaking character for a second, I did talk to a guest services cast member. There will be recovery if it's down the whole time when you're here. You talk to them and they will figure out some kind of appropriate recovery because that would be a big bummer, but also a strong possibility considering that ride breaks. I'm helping Sammy capture a ship. He told him to let me him know when I'm here. I am here. There's the Falcon. There she is with her 90 minute wait for Smuggler's Run. You do get lightning lanes for both Rise and Smuggler's as part of this adventure. The weirdest thing about being on Batu right now is pretty much everyone on the Halcyon is like in theme uh, and they have a lot of people have full costumes like cosplay numbers. A lot of people are just wearing like space-esque clothes and now I'm on Batu and all these people are wearing like human clothes and it's very jarring to my brain right now. People are looking at me like I'm weird, but I'm looking at them like they're weird. Okay, I found the control panel. I'm gonna click hack on my screen. Is there Starbucks in space? How much would I have to pay to one of our reporters to bring me a Starbucks to Batu? Ugh, he's making me walk so many places. <laughs> so of course you can use your time on Batu to explore, go shopping, go to docks. If you've visited before, you've got another Hollywood Studios day, I would recommend doing the missions and having fun with the specialness of being on the Star Cruiser. So I'm going to do a lot of the missions. I'm going to we go to Oga's and see what happens there. You can make reservations at Oga's, droids, lightsabers. They will help you make those on the ship as well. You can book them when you are booking your trip as well. Guys, I got to be cool because Kylo Ren is like right there. I do not need him to know what I'm doing. Hacking into his ship as we speak. Now I am headed back to the Millennium Falcon to do my mission for Wraith. I have to tell the crew here that I have coordinates for Hondo. Hondo, I have stuff for you. Hondo, are you listening to me? I have things to give you. I've got coordinates, pal. I have coordinates, Hondo. He knows. Uh, let's go get that coaxium! Let's go get that coaxium! Woo! Come on, pilot! Race will be so happy. Got it, got it! Shoot, 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 shoot,
the last main thing that you get to do on Batu is they do include a meal and you can use it at Docking Bay 7 or Ronto Roasters or technically you can go anywhere, any quick service in the park if you want to leave. But what's great is they will box it to go for you if you'd like because you want to go back on the ship to eat that food. You can have your Docking Bay or your Ronto Roaster to go. What's really nice is if you let the crew member outside of Docking Bay 7 know once you've placed your order, let her know your order number and they can have it packaged to go for you because if you want to take it back on the ship with you or have it in your fridge for a snack later, they'll package it all nice to go. Um, and then you can get alcohol with it. You can get just one meal and one drink, but the drink can be a beer or one of the cocktails. I'm going to do a whole separate video just on character interactions and all the activities a little bit more in depth that you can do on the Star Cruiser. So stay tuned for that video as well. And with that, I am headed back onto the transport, head back on the Halcyon. You could spend the whole day in Batu if you want. They are here till 4 p.m. That's the last transport, but I'm headed back to the ship to see what's going on there. Back on the ship, about to head to lunch, but I first had to come to the room because I did smuggle something on from Earth. This giant jug of iced coffee. So I'm gonna inject this directly into my veins probably, because I slept four hours last night. Not in the asteroid field. We're in the asteroid field. From uh, bridge training. But no one's bridge training right now, are they? They might no, be. No, they, they are bridge training right Whoa. now. Whoa, interesting. Compelling. Space. And now I am off to lightsaber training, which is the other mandatory activity along with bridge ops. And I'm super, super excited about it, especially because I had some little data pad interactions with our lightsaber instructor. So he should know who I am. Hold your lightsaber, right at your center. Excellent. Ready position. Our training remote. Yes. I know, I said it's super exciting. <laughs> And it was super fun. You have an instructor that will teach you how to use it. It's very interactive. It's not just the people with the lightsabers. There are other pieces of equipment that you can use. So it's very much a group activity, just like anything else. You need to be most bought in for this over anything else I've done. If you're not bought into what we're doing here, it's going to be like too much. Like when you have a soul cycle instructor who's like telling you to like visualize your obstacles as you climb up a hill and you're like, I'm just trying to work out right now. That's enough. Um, so if you're that kind of person, it might be too much for you. If you're not that kind of person, if you're into Star Wars and the force of everything, you'll probably love it. And now I am back in the dining room for the Sabak tournament. I feel really good about this. All right, I discarded three and I'm going all in, baby. Oh, snap. Okay. It's my last hope. This is episode 10, last hope. <laughs> it's between us two. Between you two. And what did you have here? I have six and a zero. Six and a zero, and you have? Ten. Ten. What was the number? Positive. Ten. Ten. So you are going to be the winner of this hand. So I get all this. You get all this. Yeah. yeah. I took a video of you playing with the tournament. I loved your show last night. Did you have a good time? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, I think, like, I'm such a fan. I'm uh, starstruck right now. So will I see you uh, at my acoustic performance? Oh, absolutely. Like yes, I will not miss it. Right. Yeah. Does this look good? Yeah, so what do I do with that? So I just put it down. Final? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, this is It's not bad, right? Yeah. It's yeah. all right. Go. It's all right. Slide it down. Yeah. Show it. Right. Yeah. Show it. No, you have to reveal it. Molly, oh. what do we have? It's not. Oh, no. So we have negative seven, negative eight, and negative eight. Molly oh, takes the ah! All right, well done, well done. We're going to the finals. <laughs> the finals. All right, four o'clock. How'd you do? I, I'm in the finals. Oh. I'm in the Savak finals now. I'm the only girl on the team. So I feel like I have to do this for all of it. Yeah, positive 10. Keep or get rid of it. Kitty, it's getting intense. Yeah, alcohol for this. This is very stressful. <laughs> Everyone had 10. Going to triangles. Molly wins it with one triangle. Oh. Oh. Molly wins it. Molly wins it. Molly wins Which 
is good for having never played Sabat before yesterday. So I will accept my victory. Now that we have a few minutes, let's go shopping in the Chandrilla Starline shop. Now we have a full post on our site with all the stuff in here and all the prices and everything. So rapid fire, let's check out the merch real quick. Lightsaber, green shirt, shield, gray Jedi ring, green jacket situation, jumpsuit from the mechanic, kids, adult navy with gray sleeves Jedi robe, headgear, Leia outfit, cloak, kids captain outfit, kids cloak, black dress, kids Leia dress, Necklace, earrings, earrings, necklace, magic band, short gloves, long gloves, different space headpiece, space jacket, space face mask set, different space face mask set, yet another space face mask set, shirt, wine glass, wine glass, poster, coffee mug, space notebook, space pen, space 70s inspired poster of Gaia, coasters, I believe this is a corkscrew or a wine stopper, I've never used one before, kids tank, kids jacket, Magnet, lanyard, pit, 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 lanyard, holder, t-shirt, patch, different patch, Christmas ornament, kids t-shirt, flat bill hat, backpack, model of the ship, droid, smaller model of the ship, sabak, smaller droid, kids sweatshirt, adult jacket, keychain, 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 space necklace, different space necklace, space earring, space earring, space bracelet, different space bracelet, different space necklace, different space bracelet, different space bracelet, different space earrings ring pendant and last but not least exclusive lightsaber hilt to the halcyon so as you can see the merchandise here is not anything you're gonna find anywhere else if you want something you better snag it here okay sammy has pulled us into the bridge for a secret mission. so we are going to be man the systems because that's where we shine <laughs> The comm channel is open. That must, that must be Hondo. Uh, Molly, can you press that uh, blue flush button on that? Well, as they say, goodbye and good luck. Oh, no, 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 look, we need the echelon, please. Hondo, no. Everyone, the short face is really just good. Thank you.
after a very eventful day where I helped command the bridge, you know, Wraith is stealing coaxium from the First Order, had some lounge fights. We are now headed to dinner. At this moment, Lewis and Rudy are spraying the essence of yogin. Please close your eyes and allow your taste buds to awaken. to our mustard stations. Before I tell you why there was a mustard drill, I want to put out another massive, huge spoiler alert. I know I've been spoiling kind of the plot line this whole time, but this is spoiling a lot. So big spoiler alert. You don't want to know the grand finale of the adventure. Look away. Sammy, Sammy, no, Sammy, no, no. I don't share your assessment for change. thoughts in a moment about how I feel about the entire experience and my kind of full, full review. But before that, we are doing our final thing, which is sweets and treats. It's a little dessert party. It has been an incredibly amazing experience here on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up, have breakfast again, and then take the transport back to Earth. I've been trying to figure out the best way to describe the experience, the best way to give you my professional and honest opinions on what this is. I had what I consider to be a perfect experience aboard the Galactic Star Cruiser. I had very meaningful character interactions. I put myself into the story as best I could, and it really felt like I was in a galaxy far, far away having this adventure. Which leads me to believe the number one thing that will make this experience worth it to you or not is how much you're going to immerse yourself into the story. You have to suspend reality. You have to buy into all of these things happening around you for it to be a meaningful and impactful experience. You have to be willing to believe that F Lieutenant Necroy needs you on the bridge or that Gaia is an intergalactic superstar. If you're not gonna buy into that, then this is maybe not the experience for you. I think your level of commitment and your level of wanting to immerse yourself in a two and a half day escape room type activity is the number one factor, even more than if you like Star Wars. To me, this could have been any overlay 
And as long as I got to immerse myself in the good versus bad story and have this much immersion and active storytelling around me, the theme didn't matter. Now, a Star Wars person that does like games and immersive experiences, the theme may matter a little bit more to you because yes, characters you know come out. Yes, they have modeled this after looking at thousands and thousands of hours of Star Wars footage. But to me, the immersive factor trumps anything, including the IP. You could put any IP here and I would have had fun. It could have been a generic blue team versus yellow team and I would have bought in with this level of immersion. Now, even knowing I had the best possible time on the Star Cruiser, I had so much fun over the last few days. At one point I thought, you know, Duckfuss Allen and I should book this because we love escape rooms and we would have so much fun together. But when it comes down to it, it's still hard to justify the cost knowing you could go to Europe or on a Disney cruise for the same cost as this two night experience. I do think it's apples to oranges and I'm not saying I would never pay the cost, but it is hard to justify such a high cost for a shorter experience. However, if this is your dream vacation, if you've always wanted to live inside Star Wars and engage in an activity like this or live inside immersive theater basically for two days, this may be very worth your dollars. You're gonna get out of this experience as much as you get into this experience. A lot of things exceeded my expectations. The food was much better than I expected. I really enjoyed several things. The crew was incredible. It was Disney service kicked up a thousand notches. The cons, there's not a lot to do if you don't want to immerse yourself in the story. You can play Sabacc, you can go to the lounge, but there's not a pool, there's not leisurely activities, like if you spend a lot of money to stay at a deluxe resort and don't want to go to the parks. It's basically all about interacting in the story. There are still a lot of questions to be answered about the Star Cruiser, and I'm looking forward to coming back on a non-media voyage to see what the differences are and to see what the experience is like then. We are going to be doing another video where we go over some of the criticisms, some of the pressing questions, and what happens when things go wrong on the Star Cruiser. Are you going to get your money's worth? So stay tuned for that as well. I had an amazing time aboard the Star Cruiser. I am the target audience for this, and it can be an incredible experience. But much like Kylo Ren's relationship with his father, it's complicated. Drop your questions in the comments. Look forward to more videos, more content. And until next time, friends, may the stars guide you home.